If you're like me, then you're a worthless pile of nobody that people like to make fun of on a daily basis. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's only me that makes fun of me. But anyways, on a different note, physics is the answer to everything in the universe, and physics is just applied math. So math is the answer to everything in the universe, and math will help us come up with an answer to certain insults. Now this first one isn't really an insult, or at least it's a very weird one, but people will use it as one anyways. And that's calling somebody gay, or a less pleasant synonym for gay. Now you know another word for gay is homosexual, which means liking the same sex based on its Greek word roots. And okay, you're probably thinking that pulling up Webster's Dictionary doesn't really do anything to help get back at bullies, but just be a little bit patient. We can put people into two sets. The set of people that aren't the same sex as the individual in question, and the set of people that are the same sex. Notice that the latter set contains the individual themselves. If we look at the set containing the things the individual in question likes, the set containing the people that are the same sex as the individual is contained within that set. Which means the individual themselves is also contained within the set of things that the individual likes. So by calling someone homosexual, you're saying they like themselves. They're self-confident and they're proud of who they are. Of course, the reverse logic also applies to heterosexuals who don't like people of the same sex, which excludes them from the set of things they like, which means they don't like themselves. And we can prove that heterosexuals don't like themselves by using proof by induction. In the n equals 1 case, I am heterosexual and I've expressed how I feel about myself in the beginning of the video. In the n plus 1 case, the index of refraction of air is basically 1, so using the fundamental theorem of engineering, we would need to consider the 2th case. According to some random YouTube videos, one brain is actually 2, so since me is 2, the 2th case is already solved, and by extension, the n plus 1 case. Meaning we have proved by induction that all heterosexuals don't like themselves. And we can go ahead and slap a QED on that bad boy and move on. If you're like me, then you're a virgin, and while there's nothing wrong with that, some people will use it as an insult because of course they are. But being a virgin means that I've never had sex. So if I plot the amount of sex that I've had in my lifetime, it's just a flat line at zero. Another word for sex is fuck, meaning I don't give a fuck about my virgin status because in order to give a fuck, I must have a fuck to give. By having no fucks, I don't have the capacity to give a fuck, so I don't and never have given a fuck about my virgin status. Of course you could argue that you pay for things with money you don't have in the form of debt, but you have to remember that debt is sort of like an invented concept. Kinda like how early mathematicians had to invent negative numbers. So until the government starts printing out fuck IOUs, man that sounds really weird, please don't take this out of context, this argument should hold since negative fucks don't exist. Finally, I'm ugly and I'm proud. Obviously, physical appearance is quite subjective, but people will still insult others based on their appearance anyways. But if you're ugly, that means you're unattractive. There are four fundamental forces in our universe, with each one being an attractive force. You might say that magnets can repel each other, but most processes in the universe are time-symmetric. Meaning going forwards is indistinguishable from going backwards, meaning repelling magnets are just attraction in a time-backwards universe. Now all matter in our universe interacts through these forces, meaning if you're unattractive, you don't matter. Now you're probably thinking, hey wait a second, you said this would be a comeback video. And you're right, because unattractive people still exist. So if they're not matter, they're space. And like Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day Infamy once said, the space that's in between, insane and insecure. Insecure about their appearance and insane for being so, because there aren't four fundamental forces, there's only three. Because I lied when I said gravity was a fundamental force. Gravity is actually the bending of space-time as described by Einstein and his theory of general relativity. Or to put things short, objects move through straight paths in curved space-time. Since unattractive people are space, that means objects, I mean people, will follow space and its curves, no matter how curvy or uncurvy they are, in an interaction we describe as attraction. Wait, doesn't that statement contradict the earlier part of the